in the the Western concept of God, right? You have you know it's a, a, a person in charge of everything, created everything, is the mind that brought everything into existence, and he's a he's a kind of a particular fellow that wants you to behave in certain ways. And he had, you know, he yeah, felt always a man. Huh? Oh, oh, well, <laughs> it always says he, right? Right. <laughs> right. And, uh, and, and, and that, that's kind of the, the concept of the Western God. You know, it's Allah or, you know, the, the Old Testament God or the, you know, New Testament God. And I, I don't see, uh, how does that play into Taoism? Is there a Taoist concept of God? Well, and I say, you know, that's a that's a great question. Well, what is God? What is the Tao? Well, usually the Tao and maybe God too is interpreted as being something that's vast, something that's infinite, something that has no beginning and no end, something that's eternal, without limitation, the source of all creation. Uh, the, that, that's often how people think of as the Tao, and it's starting to sound an awful lot like God, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if the traditional, certainly philosophical Taoists don't posit uh, a, a, a man with a beard sitting in, in a throne somewhere, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which they don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they don't posit that, but they do posit that there certainly is this energy this consciousness this thing that we can't put a word on so for lack of a better term they call it the Tao. right you know that encompasses many of the attributes that i think many cultures would ascribe to the notion of god right right so is there a a, a god or is there this nameless eternal formless thing that is known that for lack of a better term we 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 just refer to as the as the Tao. you know the Tao sees all things as part of itself it's beyond distinctions that's something that we do yeah you know, we make uh, distinctions the Tao doesn't uh, and i guess the western kind of concept of god does make kind of distinctions mm -hmm. you it's, know it sees it as separate from itself you know it's something to attain something to you know uh, you know, through good deeds or something, you you die and then you uh, ascend to heaven and sit yeah. in, in the throne, neck, the right hand of God, left hand of God. You sit somewhere. You right. know? <laughs> you, you will yeah, be yeah. sitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah and, and, and it's not now, it's later, you know, it's yeah. after this existence. And that was the thing, it was in the, the thing in the, the Tao of Pooh, I remember. <laughs> and in the Tao of Pooh, Benjamin Hoff writes that in the Western civilization where we're looking for the great reward mm -hmm. eventually i will make this money and i will find success mm -hmm. i will find favor with an eternal god that will then bring me into heaven and then mm -hmm. i'll be happy it's this right. down the road thing right. whereas the Tao, it's boom right here it's right now right now see it's not a separate experience yeah because the Tao posits that beyond separation exist eternity and infinity it, it's already here, mm -hmm. it, it, and once we transcend the aspects of ourself that prevent us from being one with that, then we will be there too. Right, we'll be there too. It was like the it, Aldous Huxley, "The Doors of Perception." Yes, right. You know yes. what, what? What did the full line when? Uh, oh darn it! You do something, and then once you <laughs> once you break down the doors of perception, all is infinite. Yes. Yes. You know, when it's, it's what I call a timeless state of grace, mm -hmm. you know, this state of beingness itself. And, and, and who can ask for more than that? Mm -hmm. You know, remember, we were talking, I think, the last show about about how, how everything manifests as this interconnected field of energy, this quantum field. We are immersed in this quantum field. But how many of us know that? How many of us experience that as an actual reality? And so once we transcend, it's like having blinders. Once yeah. you move away the blinders, it's not that you weren't there. If I put my hand in front of my eyes, I can't see you. You were always there. I just have to remove the blinders. And then what was always there is just manifest. Right. 
And that's the Tao. You're stripping that, away to get to that, that sense. Yeah, we're removing the separation, the illusion of separation, and then returning to the wholeness of what has always been there, will always be there. Yeah. You know, you know, they say in physics, you know, that energy can neither be created or destroyed. It's eternal. It's infinite. It just changes form. Mm -hmm. It changes shape. Much like the worm to the bird we were talking earlier about the indifferent universe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The worm becomes internalized by it the becomes bird. food, and then the droppings actually nurture new life, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we were talking, in between shows, we were talking about something about how... Uh, about how to, grow, how to grow a garden, right? You need manure. And you need manure. Yeah. <laughs> and so waste becomes the source of new life. Right. Isn't that a miracle? Waste begets <laughs> non-waste. Yes. Yeah. Right. Talk about returning to the source. Right. You see, it makes perfect sense. Yes. It really does. Yeah. You know. It was, it, so it's it's a matter of altering our own perception to be more inclusive, mm -hmm. because most people's perception is very much like a horse you know, with blinders on, and we only see what's right in front of us, yeah. and what we, and even that we we're comparing what we see right in front of us to what we've seen in the past and we're making associations and then creating a label and putting on what's right in front of us. <laughs> right, yeah. Now, uh, in, in, uh, the, in the Western mind, you have the idea of heaven. It, once, you know, if I, if I act according to God's law, if I accept, I have faith, uh, then eventually I will have this kind of eternal state of, you know, bliss after in heaven and, you know, playing the harp and hanging out and everything. So <laughs> I get my mansion, as Ricky Gervais says. Uh, so or that, maybe even some virgins. Yeah. Hey, yeah. depending on which God. <laughs> hey, why not? Right. Uh, so th so that's what now the, the Tao Te Ching, uh, Taoism doesn't really have that kind of afterlife promise or anything like that. No, no. Remember, this field of energy Remember, it can only change shape. You can't, you can't, you can't kill it. Yeah. There's no way to kill anything, really. It can only change form. And then, like the droppings, it's going to become some other form right. uh, later. And so I think that the Taoist way, this returning, is returning to where? Remember, I think the last show we were talking about, there, there's, a, there's actually a place in, in the heart of unity consciousness. Mm -hmm. Our brains is what does all this separation of this and that and judging and critiquing and keeping us from feeling our connection to the fullness, the holistic totality of the infinite. Mm -hmm. Once we let go of that so much and return to this sacred space in the heart and find this place of unity, we're, we're home. Right. We're home. We, we, we've gone to heaven, if you will. Right. Yeah. You know, we found heaven right here in our own immediate experience. Right. And it was just our this separation that was keeping us really in a type of hell mm -hmm. because separation almost by definition leads to conflict, judgment, conflict, killing, death, war, etc. Mm -hmm. A hellish environment. Right. Yeah. So I think that. If we're living externally and separate from ourselves and from other people, we literally have already created hell. And heaven, if you will, is going back to this original state of innocence, to this timeless place of eternity. This returning. It's returning. Mm -hmm. And the action of the Tao is always returning. Always. Remembering who we... I remember I always say, where do you come from? Who are you? Where are you? Why are you here? And where are you going? Yes. And, and, and that's a remembering process. It's not something that you have to create so much. You have to let go of the obstacles that keep you from being in touch with your own inner nature. Mm -hmm. And then what's internal and what's external, crossing that bridge to bring what's internal into external existence so that we're living our dream. Right. We're, we're living this internal reality of who we are in the external world. The moment you do that, you are in the flow. You are surfing the cosmic wave. <laughs> you are in the Tao. Right. And you are in the now. And it's beautiful. <laughs>